Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to reveal my new series here on my channel and this is gonna be Starbucks drinks makeup inspired looks and the first drink that I'm gonna start with is pumpkin spice latte. Pumpkin spice latte is my favorite drink from Starbucks and this is why I decided for it to be my first look for this series and this is also very fall related drink like when you think about fall you think about pumpkin spice latte at least I do so I hope you guys will enjoy this look please let me know in the comment section down below which drinks do you want me to do next in the series and I will be happy to do so and yeah this is the look that I came up with today and I hope you will love it don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the red button down below I have new videos up every week and I would love for you to join me so yeah let's go ahead and start with this video so first we're gonna start with some moisturizer to make sure that my face is all ready and hydrated for the foundation so I'm using my Garnier moisturizer and there is nothing special about it just regular moisturizer so first I want to do some color correcting and I don't have an orange corrector with me usually I don't get very like tired under my eyes but right now I have a very severe like black under eye so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Morphe 35O palette and I'm gonna take one of the orangey shades and this is the shade right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply it under my eyes directly like this and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Maybelline instant anti-age concealer and I'm gonna apply it under my eyes this is in the shade nude this will blend in with the orange eyeshadow that I just put under my eyes and it will color correct so I'm taking a beauty blender and I just make sure that it is blended so today we're gonna start with the eyes and the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply some concealer to my lid to hide veins and to make sure that everything is nice and ready to go I'm using the same concealer the only thing is that it creases on me so I have to set it with some loose powder so this is the picture of the pumpkin spice latte that I was inspired by and you can see it has some brownish colors with some white, some orange and it just reminds me of fall and this is why I wanted to start this series with pumpkin spice latte so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of an orangey look with some browns and yeah that's what I wanna do and I think we're gonna keep it matte because I find that I feel a little bit matte in the fall like I don't want to be super super glowy I'm gonna use my Morphe 35O palette the first color that I'm gonna take is this color right here I'm gonna apply this color all over my eye to make sure that the concealer is set because when the concealer is set it is much easier to put on more eyeshadows so the first shade that is gonna go into our crease is this shade right here and this is a transition shade and it is going to go exactly to my crease and it doesn't matter you can just put it all over there so after we use this transition shade the next shade we're gonna use is this color right here and this is the orange that we use to color correct our under eyes and we're just gonna take a big fluffy brush and apply it to our crease so the next shade that I'm gonna use is going to be this orange right here I wanna make sure that the whole look is more like pumpkin -y just because the name pumpkin spice latte I know this is not the most like orangey drink but I feel like the pumpkin spice just give it orangey tone if you guys know what I mean so I'm taking a little bit and I apply it also the next shade that I'm gonna use is this color right here and this is a brownish color that is gonna 
make my outer corner look much more deeper and I'm gonna apply it directly to my outer corner and just drag it a little bit into the lid So you can see that I'm not taking it all the way up and there is still some orange peeking through and I put it just below the orange and I put it mainly in my outer corner just like that and now I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and I'm just gonna buff everything together to make sure that it is nice and seamless so now I'm gonna go in with this orangey shade right here make it a little bit more orangey And to make sure that everything is deep and smoky, I'm gonna take this color right here and I'm gonna apply it to my outer corner once again. So now for the lid we're gonna go with something light because I want something to represent the whipped cream that you have on top of the pumpkin spice latte and I'm gonna go in with this lightest shade in the palette and I'm gonna apply it all over my lid mainly in my inner corners I think it might be a little bit too light so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this color right here and I'm gonna apply it to my lid yeah much much better so now we're gonna move on to the face and for the face I'm gonna mix two foundation the first one is this bourgeois serum healthy mix foundation and the second one is this elf flawless finish foundation in the shade caramel So for concealer, of course, I'm gonna go again with my Maybelline concealer and I'm just gonna apply it under my eyes, on my chin, the nose, and up here. And to blend everything, I'm gonna go in with some sponge. So to set my under eye, I'm gonna take some RCMA no color powder and I just put it in this little jar so it would be easier for me to take the powder out and I'm gonna bake under my under eye because I find that this concealer does not plaster me without baking like it creases and and I'm putting some on my nose and here because these are my problem areas and for the rest of the face, I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Face HD High Definition Matte Pressed Powder. And I'm just gonna set my entire face with it. So to finish up the eyes, I'm gonna go back to the Morphe palette and I'm gonna use the orangey shade and the brownie shades just in my waterline. Not my waterline, but my lash line. So I'm gonna take the Maybelline Push Up Angel Mascara and I just love this mascara so much, it is so good. I absolutely love it and I'm gonna apply this mascara to my top lashes and my bottom lashes. So when you get a mascara stain like I did, then don't go on and just try to take it off because it will take your entire makeup with it it will just smudge and it won't look good so wait a few minutes and i will show you when it dries on me what i do to take it off but in the meanwhile i'm gonna tight line my waterline and my lash line with some black liner so to take the mascara stains off i'm just gonna take a spoolie from a brow brush or anything you want and just scrape it off So if I'm already holding the Goof Proof brow pencil in my hand, I'm just gonna use it and I'm gonna use it to fill in my brows a little bit 
I'm not gonna do something very crazy because my brows are already quite full and I don't like the crazy brow look so the last thing I'm gonna do with my eyes is I'm gonna pop on a little bit of an inner corner highlight because I don't wanna highlight my face today but I feel like the inner corner highlight is a crucial part of my makeup so I'm gonna take this essence all about bronze eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna apply it to my inner corners just for some highlight so to finish up the face I'm gonna take my physicians formula butter bronzer in the shade light bronzer and I just gonna apply it to my face So to put some color to my skin, I'm gonna use the Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade 20 Satin Love and this is a great blush for fall because it is very mauve toned and it goes with every look I think like this color is perfect, it's very neutral and I think anyone should have it because I use it every day so yeah, that's what I'm gonna use today And to finish up the look, I'm gonna take my Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Magic Wand and I'm gonna apply it to my lips. I lost my lip liner that I wanted to use for today, so forgive me if it's gonna be not perfect. So this is the finished look guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I am so excited for this new series on my channel and I feel ready for fall right now and I love it. Please let me know in the comment section down below what drinks do you want me to do a makeup look inspired by. So thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you will have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!